Metro Racing reports for Morn Show Stadium. This is June 3rd, 1955. This is URA sanction. And uh, we have roughly 40 cars coming through the back gate, which was terrific. There is no article in the program, but we do have an article from the newspaper. Written by Bill Tyree. Dunham catches midget auto win. Larry Dunham, rookie driver from North Hollywood, won the 30 lap midget main at Orange Show Stadium Friday night before over 3,000 fans. Dunham took the lead on the fifth lap from Don Edmonds and nailed off Don Cameron for over 20 laps to win. Cameron had dabbed second spot in the early going and tried to no avail to catch the high flying Dunham. Alan Heath provided the best driving demonstration of the evening when he came from far back in the field to nail down third. Bob Cortner, Edmonds, and Johnny Morehouse trailed in that order. Jack Jordan won the 15 lap semi main, coming from eighth to take the lead from Bill Danscher on the seventh lap. Danscher held on for second ahead of Jim DeVitt in a Drake special. Jack Prince, Ivan Hargler, Harg. Hargle Road, <laughs> Ivan Hargle Road, and Johnny Paulson. Lowell Southam was injured fatally in this race, flipping his midget in the back stretch after rolling over another car. Jimmy Hayes lost a wheel and was out of the race, and Dan Creamer spun out. Duke Beamer took Harold's three lap trophy dash for his first win of the year over Morehouse, Cameron, and Heath. Cameron hit the fence in the early going and bounced into Heath with no damage to either. Dancher won the first six lap heat over DeVitt. Hargill Road held off Jordan in the second heat. Edmonds came up to nip Jerry Curry in the third and young Jack Gardner took the fourth heat. Porky Rockwitz won a close six lap consolation race with Ward Holder. Fans and drivers alike paid silent tribute to Billy Bukovic as the lights were dimmed in the vast Orange Show Stadium. There's a second, smaller article. Lowell Southam, 32-year-old Venice driver, was killed last night when his midget race car rammed a parked car at the National Orange Show Stadium at the end of the URA semi-main event. There's also a note in the margins of the program that says Southard flipped at the end of the race. He hit a parked car in the infield and there was no report from the hospital. So apparently, near the end of the race, the car flipped, wound up hitting a parked car on the infield, as the thing says, and then the, the driver passed away at the hospital. <laughs> 